Hello, everyone. It's Charlton. They have uh, they've arrested somebody in connection to the kidnapping and murder of uh, the 24 year old. Uh, um, excuse me, 20. I think she's a 21 year old student from University of South Carolina, um, Samantha Josephson, who I actually was I was reading about this during the day, and I plan to make a video as soon as I got home. And I sat down, and I just noticed that they. Um, because prior to just moments ago, at least they hadn't been reported that they had arrested somebody. His name is Nathaniel, Nathaniel Rowland, and I'll get to that in just a second. She went missing Friday evening or Friday early morning hours, I think at 2 in the morning. She had called an Uber to take her home. She had left a bar in the uh, Five Points area, I think, in Columbia, South Carolina, and Bird Dog was the name of the bar. She she left the bar alone and was spotted getting into uh, the car she and friends believe was in an Uber and she had ordered. So she had ordered an Uber, and um, I don't know how this individual managed to basically trick her into thinking that that was the car she had ordered. She didn't double check it. When her Uber car eventually did show up moments later, uh, she, I think that, that Uber driver, which I believe was a female, canceled the ride because she wasn't there. She had already left. Her friends, I believe, saw her get into the Chevy Impala, and that's where um, you know people, uh, office, uh, police had put that out as uh, a car that she had gotten into. Her body was... Found uh, uh, by hunters later Friday, uh, even though that wasn't revealed until just moments ago. They had indicated she was found dead, and uh, they hadn't necessarily called it a homicide, but it wasn't a missing persons case anymore. But now they've arrested somebody in connection with it. The uh, hunters did find the locate the body, which had been dumped in a rural part of, of uh, outside South outside Columbia, South Carolina, in Clare, Clarendon County. And the individual driving the Chevy Impala, Nathaniel Rowland, was, had gotten pulled over by police. They found her cell phone as well as blood in his vehicle. I mean, I'm just quickly summarizing. In fact, and that's the individual there. Those are photos from his Facebook page. There is, um, there's pictures of him on his Facebook page in front of this of a Chevy Impala, which is right there. So that he was pulled over and... and um, uh, that 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 they found the the blood and the cell phone of Samantha Josephson and it's terrible. So um, just to quickly go over some of the the details, a, a man has been arrested over a murder and kidnapping of a student who was mistakenly got into a car thinking it was an Uber after her blood and cell phone was found in his vehicle. Samantha Johnson, 21, went missing South Columbia, South Carolina, early Friday morning. She was found dead by hunters later that day after her body was dumped in a rural spot nearby. In nearby Clarendon County, hours later, Nathaniel David Rowland, 24, was arrested after being pulled over by officers driving the car she had been last seen in before trying to flee the scene on foot. Samantha's, Samantha's blood and her cell phone were found in this black Chevy Impala as well as bleach and cleaning products, according to the police. They said the child safety locks were enabled, meaning she would have not been able to escape. Security footage appears to show Samantha getting into the black Chevy Impala at around 2 a.m. on Friday. When she was leaving after a night out with a group of friends in the Five Points area, she left the bar Bird Dog alone and was spotted getting into the car that she and her friends believe was an Uber that she had ordered, a witness told the Daily Game, Gamecock student newspaper. When Samantha's actual Uber driver arrived moments later, the driver canceled the ride when she didn't show up for the pickup, witnesses said. Surveillance images released by Columbia Police Department show the show the final images of Samantha before she disappeared. She is seen wearing an orange shirt and black pants. That's that's her that's that's surveillance right there that was released by the Columbia Police Department. There's the individual. Police say they have now arrested 24-year-old Nathaniel David Rowland after he was pulled over by police driving the car before trying to flee the scene on foot. That doesn't, I don't fully understand, like, you know, trying to flee the scene on foot, and then he jumped in his car to drive away, I guess? Not real sure. It's her father, who's uh, obviously destroyed. After a frantic day of searching for the missing University of South Carolina student, the school had earlier confirmed she was dead. It was with the heaviest of hearts that I write these words this morning. 
Samantha's father in her hometown of Robinson, uh, Robbinsville, New Jersey, also confirmed her passing in a heart-wrenching Facebook post. I will miss and love my baby girl for the rest of my rest of life. Samantha is no longer with us, but she will be. She will not be forgotten. Wrote Seymour Josephson, a sales manager with technology company. And there he is, pictured uh, right there in front of the Chevy Impala. So um, that is uh, that is the story there, man. What a shame. 21 years old and just starting uh, just starting your life. I don't know if it was a random thing or if he had been uh, or if somebody if you know allegedly he had been stalking her, you know like um, I guess it's pretty easy nowadays because you can just assume that people are getting out of a bar, females are getting out of bar, calling Ubers to get home, pull up, just take a guess, you know, just say you here for an Uber. If not, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't harm anything, and they just you just drive away and say, oh my bad. But if you do, they get in, then then you got them. You know, it's really that easy. And if the person doesn't double check the vehicle, make sure she's with the proper driver. You know, um, it can just add an end in disaster. It's just uh, it's some of the things that have happened with the you know the new technologies that are out there and ride sharing, etc. According to his Facebook page, Roland is a native of Brooklyn, New York, and now lives in Columbia, South Carolina. Roland says he studies um, studies at South Carolina State University, that he's the CEO of Dim, Dimu Pink Dimu. I don't know what that one, one, um, one photo of his page, Roland, is shown in front of what appears to be the black Chevy Impala. A woman was in Roland's car with him when he was arrested at 3 a.m. on March 30th. Chief, Chief Holbrook said that Roland was arrested in Five Points neighborhood at around 3 a.m. March 30th. And a canine officer had been alerted to the car. When the officer approached the car, authorities saw say that Roland fled the scene on foot. He was ev eventually apprehended. The Post and Courier... Um, Courier's Andy Shane reports that there was a woman in the car with Roland at the time of his arrest. She has been described as a friend of the suspect and she is cooperating with the investigation. Wow. Chief Skip Rolbach, uh, Holbrook, excuse me, told the media on March 30th Josephson's body was found at 3.45 a.m. In, in the wooded area in Clarendon County, uh, South Carolina. That's 3.45 Saturday today. So it was found full almost exactly 24 hours later. The chief said that Josephson's body was discovered in a uh, very rural part of Clarendon, Cl Clarendon County, along Black uh, Bottom Road, close to the new, uh, close to the town of New Zion. Josephson's body was found by hunters. Authorities say that Roland formerly lived in the area. Roland had had the child safety locks on the back of the car, making escape from the car impossible. A child's a child's baby seat was also in the back of the car. Chief Holbrook said that Roland is expected to be charged with murder and cat kidnapping. Online records show that Roland is, has, was booked at the Alvin South Glen Detention Center on March 30th. He is listed as being 24, year old, four, 24 years old and 160 pounds. Samantha, Samantha was a senior at the University of South Carolina where she was studying political science and would have graduated in May. Next year, Smith was due to go to law school at Drexel University in Philadelphia. Wow. I went to Drexel. Part. Unbelievable. It's really awful. Well, that is, uh, that is the story there. In the press conference, Chief Holbrook told the media that he had met with Joseph's family on March 30th. That she said, I met with the family. Their hearts are broken. There's nothing tougher than, than to stand before a family, explain how a loved one was murdered. They have a lot of uh, support here, but it was gut-wrenching words. Can't describe what they're going through. What a shame. All right, that's the story there. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below, and I will see you in the next video. Later, man.